All right, thanks. All right, I'm gonna bring the Hellmeister in. And I think Tim wants Whoa. to Tim's Tim's in there too. Hey. Hey, there's Timmy. Hey, huh. Tim. And hey, the join neighbor. <laughs> There Thanks, Dell and, and her dog. Yeah, that's funny. Yeah, she's got a pug that's just a a, a pistola dog. So, um, all right, let's get a reset and um, nice already. We will. I know. I got a shirt. I got my shirt on too. So, Gil, yeah, way to go. Uh, all right, so um, let me do the thing with, with. Let me do the thing with the thing. I just need to find the thing to push the thing to push the thing. So here we go. Welcome to the Geocache Talk Network's 8th Annual Podcast of Hope. Once again, we are raising funds for St. Jude Children's Hospital. Our goal is to raise $13,000, and we can only do that with your help. To help us reach our goal, please visit the website, podcastofhope.com, and donate. Now, let's join our host of the Geocache Talk Network's Podcast of Hope. Well, we're back, but I think Gary's still muted. <laughs> Welcome to the Geocache Talk Network's eighth Gary annual podcast muted. of hope. Once again, we are raising. Is he I'm back? not muted. No, you are. Can you hear me? Are you? Yeah, yeah, we can hear you now. Yeah. <laughs> it wasn't unmuting you coming back. Welcome like, to the Geocache Talk Network's eighth annual podcast of hope. Once again, we are raising funds for St. Jude Children's Hospital. Third time's a charm. It was. I mean, we heard him. Yeah. Now we don't. No. Who's going to run the show? Well, Jesse, take over. <laughs> now Jesse's muted. Wait, they asked me to volunteer to be here because they wanted a guest. I'm not the one that's going to run the show. There he is. <laughs> like in a loop. Show. Hang on a minute. Hang on a second. We're in a loop. Give it a second. Groundhog's Day. Can you hear me okay? Yeah, we can hear you fine. Yeah, we can hear you now. Okay. All right, good. All right. Uh, somehow yes, we got a yes, weird, weird loop there. We're celebrate so. being in the last hour. Now everything falls apart. So yeah. that's great. <laughs> yeah, I hear you. Well, no, that's okay. We yeah, just kind of so. weird. We get in a weird loop. So anyway, so let me bring up the screen, show the – what we've raised is pretty amazing. Oh, um 24,000. I am dumbfounded. So uh, it's amazing. It, it takes yeah. some of the pressure off. I'd have um, to say. <laughs> it does take pressure off. Uh, but uh, um, yeah. So, uh, so this hour, again, let me talk about who uh, our, our, our um, prizes. And I got several. Um, talk about for this hour because it's our last hour so uh arted crafted also still giving away a shirt every hour thank you sean thank you arted crafted for your donation and if you want to buy a shirt you can and um oh there's a giveaway yep oh, oh. there you go arted crafted and then a little bit of delay in um, here, so we've got you're fine. And then, um, yeah, we got a Coins for Kids shirt. So that's cool. We'll have a Coins for Kids shirt give, uh, also given away. Uh, we got an extra one of those. So we're going to give that away. And Gadget. Yeah, Gadget Academy. I have a Gadget Academy shirt from this year, um, from Cash Fest this year. And it comes with some, some additional swag. And so that's going to be part of, um, of the giveaway. So. There you go. I'm excited for that. And there's uh, the gentleman, and we will we'll get into um, everything. Hey, Jason. Hey there. Uh, but I do I do want to show this video. I love it. Hey, um, so we're going to show the video. Today is December 29. 
and I have decided that I am going to raise some money for charity. And this is how I'm going to do it. Now you're all going to think I'm nuts. You open the cash, and there's cash in there. Not a lot. Maybe a couple pennies, maybe a couple dimes, a couple quarters. But I'm going to take that change home, and I'm going to put it in a jar, and I'm going to save it for a full year, and then I'm going to donate it to St. Jude's when uh, Geocache Talk does their podcast of hope. We're going to start this right here, right now. I got Hale Moisture here with me, and we're going to open up this cache right here. If there's any change in here, we're going to take the change, and I'm going to throw some swag in, and then we're going to put that change in the jar. Let's check out that second bag. All right, what else we got in here? Oh, I hear, I hear jingling. Uh, pencils, oh. and there's some change. There's a quarter right there. Oh, let's, nice. Let's see what we got. Let's let's dig it out. Lay it right uh, out here in my hand. There's a leaf. No, you don't oh, leave that, that alone. There's that. What, what is, is that? that? That's a quarter. <laughs> okay. That's really <laughs> nasty. We we'll have to clean up. Oh. In the first place. Okay. A couple pennies. So we're up at 27 cents. Wow, you got a nice haul here. All right, we got a, another penny. Oh, look at that. Another oh, a nice quarter. shiny quarter. Yep, yep. Uh, let's see. Looks oh, like wait. Another one. Man. Holy cow. There's another penny and another okay. quarter. So we're up to 79 cents right now. Seven, yeah, okay. Oh, wait. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. There's some more. Okay. Another penny. That's 80, 80 cents. And I think we're all tapped out here. Yep, since you can't come up to Buffalo Nickel. So we'll, put that, we'll put that back. All right, so we ended up with 80 cents right here. There it is, 80 cents, at least we think. Because we're out geocaching, and Eric found a penny in this cache. It's only a penny going into the hashtag Coins for Kids jar. All right, Good way to go, Eric. You gotta be kidding me. Uh, coins, for coins, for coins for kids? Coins for kids. Coins for kids right here in Colorado. Let's see what we got. 26 cents. Yes. Mr. Neil Moore. Mr. Yep. Neil Moore. Yes. Yes. The sound of coins for kids in Colorado. How much have we got this time? <laughs> Hi, I'm Moss. You're gonna have to count for me. What is that? One cent? One, two, three cents instead of on a, what's a dime? 10 cents. 10 cents. 13 cents. Nice. 13 cents. Woohoo. Seriously, coins for kids, it makes sense. He fumbles, but he recovers. You can fumble weed out of the way. We didn't even know those are coins for kids in there. Didn't, 5 cents isn't it? That's 10. 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10 cents. 10 cents. See? Another tenner. Yay! Mr. Moore, Mr. Moore! Hashtag coins for kids! Woohoo! I'm gonna work this out again now. Yeah? Alright. 25 cents, I think, and okay. one cent. 26 cents, is that correct? That is correct. Sir. Yeah. Oh yeah, memories. <laughs> Great video, <laughs> yeah. It's been a while now, but um, yeah, y'all had a great time. Although I don't know about the tomato beer y'all had. I I, I think I I would have skipped that. <laughs> that was pretty good. <laughs> you thought you, it deals like oh, pretty good. <laughs> really, I'm I'm not a beer was drinker it? at all. I do I do not like the taste of beer in. Uh, Craig and Jason are like, Ew. and I'm like, oh, this is kind of, I like this. <laughs> <It's> funny. <laughs> yeah, well. yeah, that's funny. Uh, well, guys, so gl glad to ha have y'all uh, here tonight. And um, it's been an interesting year, and we'll get y'all's uh, perspective on it. I've got uh, Jason sent me a bunch of photos, so we'll we'll get to the photos here uh, in a moment. Uh, but um what are what are y'all's um sort of thoughts on uh the year of uh, geocaching and then 
maybe your year of uh, we'll get into the your year of uh, coins for kids, but start with the geocaching side. What are what are some of your fond memories for the year? Go ahead, Neil. Um, well, uh, oh, oh, no. he disappeared. <laughs> oh, there oh. I am. It it wasn't a a big year are. for me. I I did hit um, my twelve thousand milestone. Um, I had some good months. Uh, cool. Recent couple recent months here haven't been that great, but um, I did I did get to West Bend in Wisconsin. I've been wanting to get to that mega uh, for a few years now, and I finally made it. Right. And um, that was a good time. Cool. Um, and uh, Jason and I, I'm sure we'll talk about West Bend and what happened there uh, in a little bit. Yeah. And then uh, Jason and I, we did a trip to Gilby, went to Gilby Gone Wild. That, cool. other than some health issues that I had, um, that was a blast. Um, I That's got to be a must-go-to for everybody, whether it's Gilby Gone Wild or just to go there to experience caches, um, uh, right. that needs to be on everybody's list. So, um, but as far yeah. you know, for geocaching, I had I had a, a great year. I went to Midwest Geobash. That's kind of like a and always go to because it's kind of close. But um, we had a great time. Yeah, close. I, I've had a good yeah. good year. Did some geo art so. That's awesome. Very Next. cool. Uh, <laughs> Jason, how was your how was your 2023? Yeah, Dex. How was yours? My my 2023 uh, sounds oh. a lot like Neil's. Uh, we spent a lot of time okay. together, uh, especially this summer. Um, you guys did. My, yeah, yeah, we sure did, and that's always a good time. That's that's always a good thing. Um, that's cool. My my, my year kind of yep. started off slow because I, I missed uh, going to to Moga. Yeah, I didn't go to that, and I didn't go to uh, Owensboro, right. Jewett Stock. I, I missed that because I had big plans later on in the year, uh, which all kicked off with my first mega yeah. event uh, where I saw a lot of people and some of the people here in the chat room as well too, uh, at Midwest right. Geobash in Ohio. Uh, that was fun to, uh, right. to hang out with Conk Retired Mom, her first uh, uh, Midwest Geobash there, and uh, several others uh, uh, there as well too. And, the geo art that Neil's talking about and everything else that goes along with that mega. It's always, it's always a good time there. So, and then we went to uh, cool. about what, two weeks later or something like that, maybe three weeks. Uh, we went up to West Bend, just a couple hours uh, drive for me. Uh, but Neil came over right. for, for the first time and that was, it was good to, it was good to show him. That was my 10th time in West Bend uh, at that mega. And it was good to show a newbie um, West Bend that is. Uh, what and cash about. Yeah, and it was fun to hunt down the new caches. They get better and better there every year, and, and we made several videos. I'm still putting out videos from that as well. So, uh, And then, cool. of course, it, it was an, not just a month later, um, I got to spend my birthday in Gilby, so that was fun. Uh, and we got uh, – I got to hang out with uh, Neil again and stay with him, and uh, uh, Bell on the Move flew out from – from California and, yep. and immediately as soon as we picked them up at the airport there in Grand Fork, she says, Hey, there's an FTF available. You guys want to go? And we were off. So we got an FTF. <laughs> the first the first 20 minutes we were in the area of Gilby Grand Forks area. We got an FTF on a light pole in Walmart, which is hey, we'll take it. Yeah. And uh <laughs> then the next day, which is actually my birthday, oh, uh, we got three FTFs on on Tri Cassius hide. So Oh wow! Uh, you can't ask for much more than that. That that was no. pretty cool. And then uh, yeah, that's, my my that's year great. my year my year wrapped up as far as megas go. I've never been to a mega this late in the year, but uh, at the end of September, I uh, saw Jesse down there at the uh, at the um, yeah. Geo Coin Fest. Mm -hmm. Ryan was down there, and some other people that are here in the chat room as well too. Yeah, down there in Daytona, so it was good. It was good. Uh, yeah. Good year all around, and. Uh, and of course, the coins for kids we'll be talking about here shortly. It was uh, very fruitful, yep. and uh, yeah, just 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 good year all around. I'd say. I'd say. 
Yeah, you know something that um, we we've we've we mentioned before, um, and uh, I mentioned to you guys before too. It's just the fact that um, whenever and, and you all see each other quite often because you're you're fairly close by, but something that I think I brought up to y'all when we were in at Mingo a few years ago, and that was just that. Um, I want to be more aware of these times because they don't come about all the time. I mean, we got to see each other in Memphis a couple of years ago. Um, but you know, we, we, uh, we don't always, uh, cherish these times that we get to be with, with friends, um, that, um, we kind of, I think, take it for granted, not necessarily me, but, you know, people will take for granted that, you know, Oh, well, I'm going to see them at this, you know, this event. And you're like, well, yeah, but when are you going to see them again after that? You know, it might be a couple of years before you see somebody. And um, so you got to cherish those times um, when, you know, they may be fewer and far between more, more fewer and far between than you hope for. So, um, whenever I get to see you guys, I, um, I always try to be, uh, you know, more aware of the fact that I may not see him for, for a while. And, um, so, uh, but I appreciate you guys, um, you know, so much and, uh, uh, it's just good to, you know, hang out when we can. Part of it is, is always a struggle because Jesse and I, we, we, when we're in a mega, typically not, not coin fest for Jesse, but typically we're kind of busy. We're usually having to do something. So we don't really get to hang out as much as, you know, I'd like it to be, (coughs) but, um, you know, uh, trying to get more time, you know, with, with friends and, and less, uh, you know, dealing with the mega, um, and I think something that we've done recently, especially this last one, Jesse was and and uh, Tim can even comment on, which is that getting more people involved to help, I think is a is is a big help help because then it doesn't the burden doesn't fall completely on a handful. It, it falls on more people who can kind of burden you know share the load of of the time. Uh, that's well, required. That's, that's to, it exactly, to, uh, Gary. To run a mega, you yeah. know, more hands, more hands make lighter work. And yep. you know, your your comment about seeing friends. Neil and I live maybe twelve miles away, and so right. you know, we're practically neighbors. But in the Neil's gone through world, some yeah. issues, and and it's like I don't know yeah. when I'll see Neil again. And we live right here, and so yeah. I, yeah, the friends we make and the people we see, you just cherish it every time you meet them. Mm-hmm. Yep. Well, you know, Tim, you could have no, you saw me a week ago when I needed a jump start, but you wouldn't answer my text. So, <laughs> Well, you text me through email, and I didn't look at my email. I carried I don't my know. phone. I told you that. I don't know why I got the email. <laughs> yeah, Neil texts me. He's got an emergency. I've got a new truck. I could have gone and helped him, and I didn't even see it. So no. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. Crazy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. So, um, I, I want to, I'll go through some of the, of Jason's photos he sent and, and maybe y'all can kind of pepper in then, um, some of your experiences or, or, or even the experiences you have heard from others too. Cause I think that as this coins for kids kind of grows, I think, and you all can comment on this, but it seems like we're seeing, um, a gr- you know, as as this movement sort of grows, you're hearing more and more people doing things for coins for kids, and so mm-hmm. um, yeah, um, I've got, uh, and I appreciate Jason, you sent me these. Um, they've got some good photos here, so um, yeah, I, I guess took those off of the Facebook group, so those are all user shared by other people. So. Right, very cool. Um, yeah, so um, uh, we'll start with these guys. Look at those people. Look at those people. That's a motley oh, crew. Yeah. 
Where was that at? That's Midwest Geobash. Yeah. Uh, okay. And that's that's Granny Davis, also known as Lisa, to uh, mm -hmm. Muggles. And oh, cool. And you can see in her hand there, not only does she have signal, but there on the other hand, she's got a sack full of chain that she brought us. I think it ended up being like uh, $8 or something. Oh, wow. Wow. Yeah. 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 So yeah do you, go from do you have a quarter... picture of any of the caches, Jason, that from Midwest? I don't know. I'm okay. not sure. I can't that was... Yeah, that's a that's a that that was not at Midwesters. That the no, no. no, that's that's, that's not somewhere a, else. That's in that's, Florida. That's, yeah, that's, that's in Florida. Actually, yeah. <laughs> well, Midwest yeah, Geobash had a new they had a new crew come in and help with the the caches there on the fairgrounds, and they always do a great job. One of the amazing things there was they specifically had a coins for kids box in mm. every one of the caches, and yeah, every wow. one of those boxes was full when I went to find the cash. Oh, my. So yeah. Coins for Kids was a great movement there at Midwest Geobash. That's awesome yeah. to hear. Yeah, yeah, that's that's Team Phoenix 421 out of the northwest Indiana area. Yeah. And um, they have really jumped on board with this. I know uh, awesome. I think Tim is – Tim Leah, um, Mr. Team Phoenix – um, he has mentioned that they actually have had personal uh, uh, personal contact, I guess, with uh, St. Jude. Um, oh, okay. There, his daughter or something, I think, was was there. But um, right, uh, yeah, they've they've really last year they stepped up. Uh, they they put collection jars at all their events. And their events are pretty big events. Wow, um, that's cool. So um, they put collection jars at their events. And then they also, um, like Tim was saying, they, they put the little containers in all of the, geo, what is there, 30 caches? Or, oh, wow. Uh, I, think they, I think they put out 20 of the 30 that were on the fairgrounds. Mm. And... Um, they cool. they asked us, you know, if you're going around and you're finding the caches, go ahead and take the, the change out. And I think out of two of the caches I collected change out of, I got ended up with a couple dollars out of there. And that was after somebody had already emptied it. <laughs> so, um, wow. And I think they gave the rest of it. Maybe they gave it to Jason. Yeah, since we're on the topic, I have some notes here that I'd like to share. If we yeah, if that's okay. go for it. Yeah, yeah, you okay. bet. Speaking of Tim and Monica of Team Phoenix Four Two Only One, um, this jar right here, excuse me, but it's probably fifteen pounds, and you can see it's absolutely oh my gosh, oh my gosh, slammed Packed. full with dollar bills and coins. Now, this jar has more than a hundred dollars in it, oh, and wow. that's all coins for kids. And um, that's incredible. The pictures I was showing, the pictures that uh, I was that I emailed you, Gary. Yeah, like I said took off the Facebook group. Uh, I'm going to touch on all that stuff here in, in just a little bit because I did a little homework and I did a little note taking. Cool. Uh, and I want to bring some recognition to the, some of the people that are in that group. Uh, oh, but yeah. first of all, Tim and Monica mm -hmm. and um, and the and the Northwestern Indiana geocaching community, the people that go to their events, they have jars just like this, like in their caches, like in Midwest Geobash. Right. They had, cache, they had a jar just like this at their event in, uh, that Neil and I attended this summer in June. Summer stock is what it's called, the event. Right. Um, they gave me $40 out of that jar that day, um, just that, just for that event and whatever they had collected um, themselves. Wow. Um, so a good majority of this $100 comes fr from that event alone. Wow. Um, then in addition to that, um, they have a fall event called Monster Mash. It's a Halloween themed uh, yeah, makes sense. event and they have it in October. Mm -hmm. That raised another $30. So again, wow. Tim and Monica sent me 30 <laughs> more dollars I put in here. So I, if you're counting, that's $70 out of this hundred and hundred and fifteen dollars or something that's in here. Yeah. Came from the Northwest Indiana geocachers uh, in that area that go to their yeah. events. So that, that's just phenomenal that we have them on our side and they are sold on it and, um, and they continue to support. 
Um, we touched on Granny Davis, Lisa, the bag that had eight dollars and thirty nine cents in it. Um, yep. I'd like to also uh, um, uh, mention Patrick uh, traveling armadillos. He he uh, has posted areas. He he's posted numerous uh, pictures on Facebook. It seems like. Uh, during the summer when he's probably cashing the most at mega events and stuff. In fact, there's one of the Tim and Monica's yep, cash that's, I'm talking about. Yeah. And in his hand is one of those little jars that they put in there that you were asking about, uh, Merlin. Uh, so anyway, yep, yep. he posts quite often, uh, found another $5, found another 25 cents, found, you know, whatever it is. And uh, so I messaged Patrick uh, about a month ago and I said, hey, um, about how much did you end up with? I'm just kind of curious for, uh, for the podcast to hope. He said... Hmm. Um, in addition to all the money, he got $22 brought to him at a picnic uh, wow. for it. And uh, $62 and 49 cents is what he said he collected. And he doubles that. So he's, he donated $125 tonight. Uh, what wow. he said he's going to donate. Wow. Um, I counted up just tonight on the Delta five before I came on of people that mentioned coins for kids during their donation. And yeah. just the people that did mention it, um, totaled $250, just that. Wow. Um, and that's the people I'm not mentioning off the Facebook group, such as Art and Crafted, who uh, Neil touched on this earlier, what, what happened in West Bend, is Neil and I, well, I was, but Bob, Neil wasn't there. Bob Billy was there, actually. We oh, were part yeah. of a dunk tank that uh, we volunteered for. The, the uh, committee at West Bend said, hey, we need some people to be in a dunk tank. Would you guys like to do that? And we're like, yeah, sure. So, you know, it's, it's good for the event and all that good stuff. So, uh, Arted Crafted was running a booth there. And while we were in the dunk tank, uh, getting wet and having fun, uh, Sean came over and says, every time these guys get dunked, I'm, I'm donating $5. So in addition to everything else Sean does for points for kids, the donation of the shirts and the making of the shirts and everything, yeah. you get that as well too. So that's awesome. Wow, uh, a couple, awesome. couple more mentions here that I want to uh, mention. Yeah, great, go crazy for welder, uh, Darren down in Branson, Missouri. He's a patron of mine. I want to yeah. mention that he he uh, knew it. I was coming to town for a family vacation this summer and hit a brand new geocache that I could possibly get FTF on. I didn't get the FTF, but what I I was like second or third to find, and he left a sack of uh, coins in there. It had like three dollars in there. Right, he hit the geocache so I could take the coins what it was so the double you know i got the smiley and i got the coins which uh are in this right. jar as well too um tony golden um mentioned on facebook that he uh he's got a little house he turned into a geocache uh, travel bug hotel there it is right yeah. there he uh, yeah. put a lock box inside there you can see on the wall and uh just recently i think it was today i think i saw in the chat uh, there was thirty dollars in there, if I'm not mistaken, right, Tony? Somebody left thirty dollars in there. That's that's awesome. I think that's what he put in his in the live live chat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I had a GIF event um, just uh, last month, and uh, I thought, you know what? This is my last push probably for the for the year, and I brought this jar um, to my GIF event, and I set it on the table, and I made an announcement on the cash page saying, uh, yeah, you know, I'm uh, collecting. Um, for, for this thing and uh yeah. I'd appreciate it if, if you could and i brought in another almost five dollars from that so uh other notable contributors that i'd like to, to give a shout out to that have been on the facebook page over the year uh, geo tribe five uh dire wolf canis minor uh cp 590 <laughs> emily renee of course cash canada uh, scouter 74 cinema and damaji um that's awesome. You know, look, look what we've done um, as a, not only as individuals, but as a community and mm -hmm. uh, you know, we keep in, in inspiring each other and driving this thing and it's all for a good cause. And I just couldn't be proud. Right. Right. Yeah. It's incredible. It's, it, it, it really is. It's, it's, um, catching on. It, it, it's just yeah, it, 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 it is something. And I want to share, um, yeah, we bring up the screen. Um, uh, but yeah, like you're saying, Jason, the, um, um, the screen, um, let me add it. There it goes. So if you look on the right side here, yeah, we're over, but you can see over here, um, all like you said, people are commenting, um, and kids, yeah, right there. you can see where they've been giving points for kids. Um, you know, Kelsey and Lincoln, while twenty five dollars fifty four cents. You know, you can tell that's like 
what they collected. You know, they didn't make up the the amount. This is what they actually, you know, put together. Um, yeah. uh, TMP uh, Temper ED1 says, Coins for Kids is in my signature on every cash log. That's incredible. Nice. Um, yeah, all these people who've given this, this you know, GeoVet 91, you know, Geo, Coins for Kids rocks. Coins for Kids um, mentioned several times. Um, you know, Happy Hodag, $25.38. Obviously, that's what he's been able <laughs> yeah. to collect. You know, Bell moved the same way, $20.23. So, you know, those are the coins. You could tell those are like, these are the coins that we 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 were able to, um, you know, put together um, for this. So, uh, you know, it's just, uh, it's just incredible. So. But and it is fun because I've I've noticed a definite lack of coins in the last three <laughs> years in the caches that I'm going to now. Yeah, I mean, I think nice. I raised twenty five, thirty dollars the first year, and if I got five dollars this year, that was a lot. But you know, right. I my standard donation anyway. Yeah. But yeah, so it's 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 caught on. It's doing mm-hmm. well, and this is clearly a starfish initiative. Yeah, it, it doesn't is. take a lot to make a difference. Right. Yeah, no, you're, you're exactly right. And, and, you know, as you know, like, like the, the story where, you know, one girl is throwing starfish back into the ocean and she goes, well, I made a difference for that one with, you know, what the guys have been doing, they now are sort of forming this army of people mm-hmm. that are on the, on the beach and they're throwing all the starfish in the ocean. It's just, it, 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 it starts to add up. It does, you know, I, I don't know if you guys thought about this or uh, Neil, if you thought about this, it, <laughs> when you, when you first thought, well, I'll put some coins in a jar. And then now you got people who are bringing bags of coins mm-hmm. or jars of coins going here, this is our donation for coins for kids, you know, and right. um, it's just been, it, it just, it, it, it does, it adds up. I mean, it, yeah. it's, um, yeah. you know, something well, we, I, we, we talked about, go ahead. I, I'd like to just mention too, like Jason mentioned the, the people uh, off the Facebook page. Um, and like you said, I have people that will bring me bags of coin you know, like Jason and I had Granny Davis, she brought us a bag of coins at Midwest Geo Bash, and then she brought us another bag of coins at mid at uh, the Cash Bash in West Bend. Um, I have people that will bring me coins at, at events here in Michigan, uh, whether it's just a, a local event or if it's a, one of the state organization events. Um, I don't think I've been to an event yet in the last couple of years where somebody hasn't given me a baggie or a pill bottle with coins in it. Um, <laughs> and, but I want to thank um, Dirt Bike Granny and Ellie Cali and Great Lakes Cashier, um, Dirty Gordy, uh, M Kettle, Fly Guys Gal, um, Gosh, who else? Um, man, it seems like I'm missing one or two, and I'm sorry if I miss you, but um, those are regular contributors that will give me a baggie. And it, a lot of times, it, they're like, I can't believe how much money I found. And well, with Dirt Bike Granny, she's how many caches did she find this year? 10,000 oh, or something? Yeah, like she's that. Only oh, just yeah. short of 10,000 this year. Just for the wow. year. So, of course, right. she's going to find some coins. Um, sure. It seems like there's always dollar bills in there, too, you know. So, um, if if you want to bring me your bag of coins, I'm more than happy to, to put it in the pile, you know. And, and that's a lot of people will do. They're like, well, how do we do this? Well, you just collect them up. You know, you can either put them in a piggy bank and then count them up and donate it through your, you know, online banking, whatever, or you can yeah. give it to me. I'll, I'll do the work. You know, I don't mind sitting and watch TV and rolling coins. That's, <laughs> it's not a, a big deal, but um, yeah, I know some people have, I don't know if, if you have, I mean, depends on, you know, what's, what, um, 
uh, grocery stores to go to. We have one in, in our, in, in town where, uh, it does it. It's handy. You can throw yeah. them in the, in the thing and it'll, it'll count it all for you. And it gives you a, uh, a receipt and you take it to the front and they give you the money, uh, you know, for that. But, uh, you know, however, however needs to be done, um, is, um, it's making a difference. You know, like we had, mm -hmm. um, you know, Shannon on today, tonight, uh, with St. Jude and, you know, she, she has to, rem you know, reminding that, you know, all of us, uh, you know, can be a part and all of us can, can make a difference. You know, e even this, even the small things cost money. I mean, diapers cost money. I mean, mm -hmm. you know, we always think of the big stuff like, Oh, they need, you know, these huge donors. Well, they do, but they need, they need every donor, every type right. of donor. Yeah, you know they need, um, the, you know, no, no amount is too small because um, they're a they're paying for everything. So, you know, th that's that was what they want. You know, that was their mission. Is that you know we're we're not just going to be a hospital where we are working on curing cancer, but we're going to take care of the person. We're going to pay for their meals when they're there. They're, we're going to pay for uh, all of their, you know, everything that, you know, we're going to pay for these wagons that are used, you know, we, we're, we're going to pay for, you know, um, all the way down to, you know, not only the, the cancer treatment stuff, but the items, you know, they, um, there was a video I saw and i in fortune, I get to see a lot of these things that they provide to us and we get to look through and watch. But there was one that talked about how they needed to give uh, or people that give are able to help with the, the teenagers, which he kind of mentioned. But the teenagers need um, they need to keep their schooling going. So that's one thing that is mentioned. It's like if they don't keep their schooling, they're going to fall behind while they're they're at St. Jude. What are the, you know, they, they're going to be, they're going to fall behind. Well, so they provide, um, there's ways for them to keep them going on their education. In fact, there was one child who mentioned that when they got back to school, they were like fully caught up and in some ways were ahead mm -hmm. because of what St. Jude was doing for them to make sure their education was continued. So. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Yeah. Incredible. It's, Shannon had talked about um, talking about St. Jude's throughout the year and not just the holidays. And, and right. you had you had brought up the coins for kids. And that's, you know, and that was my yeah. thought, too, is that's how that's how we keep it in the forefront all year long is coins for kids. You know, when 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 people are posting their pictures on the Facebook page or when you're at an event, somebody sees somebody handing me a bag of coins and they're like, what's that for? And it's coins for kids. And, you know, yeah. I, at the mega events, especially this year with at Midwest Geobash with the little coins for kids cups in there, you know, people are like, well, what is this? Well, that really, yeah. that really spread the word there because now you've got, 1500 people that are seeing that in there yeah on a on a weekend they're they're all they're like what is that you know and yeah so we really spread the word on it mm -hmm. then yeah. so uh yeah, th yeah. that's that's our that's awesome keeping it out out there every day yeah it's, it's, it's um cool thing that is caught on and there's no way you thought it would mm -hmm. catch on this big in the no. beginning no. But, I mean, you hope for it, right? You hope yep. that it's going to keep going because some things will start off good. This is just continue to build. And I mean, yeah. if we look back all the way through, there's there's tons of people that that's how they saved up this year. They coins for kids, right? So, yeah. Yep. Yeah. And, you know, when when I made that initial video, it really I mean, it, I did want to do that for for St. Jude's. But my hope was. Maybe that will inspire somebody else. I, whether you give it to St. Jude's or some other charity, you know, sure. let's make use of this. These coins are sitting mm -hmm. there. What a use, useless waste of money, really. Right. You right. know, let's 
let's put it to use. Well, I guess if everybody's going to donate it to St. Jude's, good. You know, I mm -hmm. I would much rather see children cured of cancer and their families not having to worry about payments than, you know, uh, you know, there's some charities you're like, well, I, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. I I think this one is probably the for me it's it's the best charity i think uh, yeah yeah i mean I it, any any time there's the health and benefits children that's that's tops of my list absolutely yeah, and, I, and, I be, and before we get too long in the night i mean yeah. i think yeah. Jesse and Gary, you guys need to be commended for what we are doing here. Did you ever think we would raise 24000 or 25000 in a night? No. Are you no. kidding me? So, no. you know, look, look, what the, look what this podcast of hope has done. And, and it's great that exactly. Coins for Kids did to contribute to that. But mm -hmm. what did you say, Jesse, $73,000 in Yeah, that's at about years? 73. Yeah, we'll be, if we hit... A little bit more money for the nights of which we know we're going to. Right. Um, we'll be right at, I mean, this is basically half of what we've done up until this point for years. This year is. So, I mean, it's, again, yeah. starfish, right? We're, we're small in the comparison to what they need to keep that place running. But it's also beyond Gary and I's wildest dreams that geocachers can be so generous year after year. And, you know, it's not a contest about how much money is raised or anything like that, right? And, and none of this is, is for us. But I just, I'm shocked by how it just keeps growing and people just keep giving and they they don't stop. You know, geocachers are such good people and we forget about it all year. We complain about this or that or a log. And, you know, this guy didn't write a good log on my cash that I spent all this time. And we, we get bogged down in some of these silly little things sometimes and we joke about it. But if, every year at the end of the year, you know, we get to be a part of this and, and cashers are just, cashers are amazing. They, they, they impress you more every year. How good, yeah. you know, it's well, right now we need more good stories and more good people out there. Right. You know, we're tired yeah. of all this crap and yeah. just, this refills it for you. I love it every year. I'm so happy I get to be a part of it. Yeah. yeah. Well, the coins yeah. for kids wouldn't even be here had you guys not started this podcast, you know, the podcast whole, because I, mm -hmm. Or you know, it, it would have been coins for something else. You coins know? for coffee. Um, yeah, coins yeah. for coffee. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, Twenty sixteen, uh, we had a goal uh, uh, to raise a thousand, and we raised a thousand in twenty sixteen. Then we raised it to two thousand in twenty seventeen. And I kept doubling it, and Jesse's like, "You can't keep doubling it, buddy." I said, "Okay, well, let's let's go to four thousand, and we raised four thousand. And then the next year, he's like, "You can't do eight. It's like, "All right, we'll do five. But we almost raised we raised seven thousand seven fifty, so we almost doubled it that year. Next year, we said, "Okay, we're going to do eight. So in twenty twenty, we said eight, we did ten. Twenty twenty one, we said ten, we raised eleven four four six, and then." Uh, last year we got, we said, let's do 12 and we did 13, six, eight, three. So I guess next year we'll just do 30 next year, Jesse. No, we're going to no, no, no. <laughs> no, well, we, we, we're gonna have to have Doug on again then because Doug made a yeah, contribution to, he did uh, make a huge, yes, he he made a huge donation. Uh, maybe, maybe, huge we can get, donation. maybe we can get, uh, Elon Musk as a, as a guest next year. There we year. go. Yeah. yeah maybe I'll, I'll, I'll start. I'll start working on that. So, all right, let's take a moment. Um, I got one more video I want to show, and then we'll kind of start the process of kind of wrapping up for the night. But I want to, I want to show one more. So here we go. <laughs> Keegan is a little ball of fire and the fire comes out the top of her head with her red hair. She just loves life. She was just barely a year old, and each night she would wake up, and she would be screaming in pain. So I would ask her, what is wrong? And all she would do is just pat her leg. And after six months, and it was 18 doctor's visits, um, she was diagnosed with acute lymphoblastic leukemia. 
the main thing that I wanted to know was, is this cancer curable? And is she going to survive? Keegan, in the very beginning, she was weak. She was tired. She was sick of feeling the pain that she was feeling. It's awful to see a child go through it. I remember when Keegan had been through four weeks of treatment. Keegan's oncologist told us that any adult would have already given up, but Keegan hadn't. She just fought right through it. When you're given a childhood cancer diagnosis, hope is lacking. Oh. But coming to St. Jude, they were my foundation for getting my hope back and knowing that Keegan was going to be okay. Seeing the transformation of Keegan over the last two years has been such a joy to see from the very beginning where she was pushing around a little stroller with her fluids in it. (laughs) Now she is the child that's running the halls laughing and just having a blast. (laughs) She puts a smile on and As long as she's got her princess shoes or her princess dress, she can face the world and show everybody else what true strength is. I'm not crying, you're crying. Yeah, I know. Stop cutting onions. I don't know if you don't want us to talk now. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's amazing. Um, You know, um, each year we in, in St. Jude has been their, their, um, uh, you know, in in BNCC as as time goes on with, um, with a new, you know, new person in charge of fundraising, hopefully that'll, you know, be of better fit. Um, we, we kind of connect with Jillian, um, who's our, uh, our connection and, and Jillian's always, um, you know, available to help. And something I mentioned, you know, to her and, um, I, I think it, it, you know, it was helpful to mention is the fact that we love having, having these videos and they really yeah. did put uh, a lot more. Yeah for the brand. So we, we can log into the, we log into their portal and we're able to, you know, with their permission, you know, um, pull, pull these videos down and use. And that's been of, of, of great benefit, you know, to, um, to us as well as, you know, we talked about, you know, this year at, at, you know, at cash fest, we were able to have a patient family in there, uh, you know, come and speak and, um, it's been it's been a good good experience um to for, you know, obviously for us but also um they're they're helping in in you know all these people and not just us but they're helping the 5k runners and the you know the people there's um i sent a, a video to to a neil to to watch which i thought he'd appreciate was uh, the guy up in Illinois who he he was kind of like Neil in fact that he's like I want to do something I want to do something for St. Jude and he was like but I, and I'm, I love uh, he's a he was a biker and he was like I'm gonna f- I'm gonna form a, a, a trip a, a road trip uh, um, and he did he got a bunch of bikers together and they they go now now, I think they go every year now, uh, Neil, from up in Illinois. They go down to Memphis each year. They they travel down and they raise money um, for, you know, for that uh, for that trip. And, uh, you know, it's just great to see that, 
you know, he took his passion, which is, you know, motorcycle and he's able to, um, to sort of take that and, and use that to like us where we're, we're raising money, you know, from, from geocaching. So it's great. Yeah. Well, I figured out, um, a while ago, it's probably been, oh, it's been 25, yeah, 25 years ago. Um, we have yeah. um, a pregnancy resource center here in a neighboring town and, and, you know, th- they work off donations and, you know, and I had, I had a little bit of money I wanted to donate to them. And I might, but I thought, you know, how, how can I make this, this amount of money multiply to give them a larger amount? Right. So I, together with a, a another person that I knew who had a, a sporting clays course and they, they oh, wanted cool. to do money. So yeah, I spent, I, instead of donating my money to the resource center, I spent it on some prizes and some promotional things. And we had a sporting clay shoot. So instead of donating $200 to the resource center, we were able to donate $1,500 to the resource center. Wow. So it, it's all in, in thinking, how, how can you make your dollar go farther? Fortunately with coins for kids, you're, <laughs> you're kind of, taking other people's money that they've just basically thrown away and able yeah. to open up and, and donate it. So yeah. even though like this gentleman in Illinois with the motorcycle and, yeah. you know, I would, I would love everybody to participate in coins for kids, but it, if there's an idea, you know, that you have to further your dollar, you know, to make your donation bigger you know, uh, you know, run with it, you know, uh, find a way to, to make that donation larger by, I don't know, finding some other resources somehow, you know, yeah. so, yeah. This interesting, this is an interesting photo, Jason, you found, which is a really good example of what, um, you know, we kind of talk about, which is, this money's not being used for anything. <laughs> right. But that's a cash in Arizona. There's a there's a cash in Arizona that is the the cash is hidden under a penny and it's just like a five yard square of nothing but pennies. Yeah. That's funny. <laughs> right. <laughs> wow. Yeah. But I can't remember who know. sent that picture in, but uh yeah, it's definitely they said they picked it all up and Oh, there you go. For coins for kids, yeah. Yeah. You know, like you said, it's, it's in today's world, that is money that, you know, like Neil said, it's like, it's not being used by for anything. I mean, people aren't going and buying, you know, dinner with a handful of coins, right? Let's use them for something else. Yes. Let's use them for, for something, you know, let's, let's use them for something that, yeah. I mean, that not only that, you're going you're picking the coins up, but I mean, like, if you're a cashier out, you're going around. If you dig at the bottom of your car, there's probably some coins. Coins <laughs> in a trackable that you said you dropped off somewhere six months ago. That's <laughs> under the seat down there. <laughs> probably. Yeah, that's true, too. Yeah. Just reach yeah. under there. Yeah. Throw those yeah. in a bag. Keep them in your geocaching bag all year until you run into one of these guys or maybe in other ways that, you know, you send it into St. Yeah. Jude or whatever. But yeah. it's, yeah, you're not asking much there. What you're doing is you're taking something that you already love and, making that part of your way to, to do something good every year. And that's the other thing too, is, you know, this all started by finding coins and caches and that's that first year. That's, that's all it was. Right. But last year, you know, from that point on, it was like, you know, I, I'm out cashing and I go and I, I buy a pop, you know, and you yep. get, 39 cents back and I throw it in the console of the car or I put it in my pocket. I get, I don't do anything with that, those, that change. So it's like, yeah, yeah, I clean out the car and put that in a baggie or put that in the jar. And, you know, Hey, it was while I was geocaching. It didn't come, you know? Yeah. The main goal here is that money that isn't being used for anything that you're just going to throw in a jar and it's going to sit 
on your dresser or nightstand, put it in a, collect it all up and take yeah. it to the bank and use it for something good. Yeah. yeah. There was yeah, a exactly person right. that came on here earlier uh, and her donation, I think it was a woman, I'm not sure, uh, saying that they donated, I think it was close to $30. And that was just like what Neil was saying. It was just changed from her lunch all year long. She just, you know, yeah. 75 oh, cents yeah. here, 30 cents there. And it added up to 30 bucks and donated it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, That's what a awesome. cool lesson. If you're taking your kids out geocaching, like many of us have taken our kids over the years out geocaching. Um, I see little kids, but we had Gary's on earlier and he's, he's not a little kid. He's, <laughs> he's a big man, but, um, but I mean, like mine started from a very young age and, uh, you know, you're, if you're taking your little kids out and you're already taking them on a positive family event anyway, now you're collecting loose change to give to charity to save other kids. What a good lesson to kind of, you know, teach throughout the years. We collect this stuff because every little bit helps. You're, yeah. you're teaching your kids about charity, whether it's podcast to hope or not, right? You're just, that's such a good lesson to teach kids in an already positive game anyway. Right. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, um, uh, you know, Neil was doing that with um, who? Uh, it, what? Oh yeah, what's his? That's my grandson. Yeah. Oh, yeah. grandson. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, as he grows up, and he, you know, he, you know, has these different positive experiences. I mean, that's, you know that's what it's all about. We're teaching kids, you know, he's going to grow up and go, well, well, you know, that's the normal thing to do. The normal thing right. to do is to, is to, to give to the, to, to those in need. And, um, you know, more and more of that, and we, you know, like Jesse said, we, we, we always, uh, you know, approach it from the, from the, the, that angle of being positive. And, um, mm -hmm. you know, we, we avoid on purpose <laughs> in very intentionally, uh, on the podcast, we don't get into politics. We don't get into the, the doom and gloom things, uh, the, 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 uh, you know, the, you know, the, the stories of the day, we just, we avoid them. And uh, once in a while, we'll get an email from somebody who says, I am so glad that you guys do this hour, you know, not, not this show because not we tonight. just did, we, we just finished eight, but um, you know, they, they comment on the fact that it's like, you know, I can listen to geocache talk. They're not going to bring up all this junk. They're going to talk about, geocaching and you know um, it, it gives me an hour away and and you know we we all have different situations in our lives and and some people are going through really tough times and you know it's kind of like when when you guys do your your vlogs um you know you 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 maybe not always think about it but when you do the vlog and people watch them you're for that period of time, that six minutes or whatever, you're giving them a break. You know, for some people, you know, they're going through a lot. You know, we're, I, you know, I'll speak for myself, but, you know, I fortunately don't have to go through a lot, but some people are going through a lot. And it is uh, re refreshing to, you know, I, I'm, I always love seeing you guys do your, your vlogs, but you know, you're reaching so many other people who maybe really need it. <laughs> I mean, I, I love it. I love it. I don't necessarily don't I need it, but there's people out there that need it. And so that's something to, you know, I'm, I want you guys to remember is that, you know, you are making a difference. Um, you are helping somebody through a day um, and, um, you know, it, it, it's kind of like the coins, you know, you're, you're making a difference, even though it may seem small, it's not small. It, it's, uh, it's making a difference. So, 
All right. Well, cannot believe guess it. Guess he ready for eight more yeah. hours. I, I I got eight more. I got I got some I got some guests lined up. You want to keep going or? Um, no. We're gonna wait. I, <laughs> I, I <laughs> like every year, but it is one o'clock in the morning where I am. This is yep. a long you night. Do. No, no nap today. It didn't happen. I planned on it. it didn't happen. Oh my! I no, might didn't happen either. Well, let me. We um. We've done pretty well, I think. We have raised uh, 24, 593, 82, and it's not over. If you are listening to this, uh, you know, over the next few weeks, you're still able to be part uh, of this. Uh, it, technically, it still goes on to like July, and then they, it switches then to the next, uh, the next years when they do their flip so uh you can you can donate podcast to hope.com you can add uh if you're listening you know a day a month or, or a day or a week or a month later you can uh you know you can still donate podcast to hope so um but there you go uh we're showing currently uh 24 593 82 so great Yay. great night and that's thank that's you guys a big, and yeah that's a big thank you to you to jesse to all of our guests to everybody mm-hmm. in the chat room to everybody who has donated money thank you thank you yeah thank yeah. you thank you yeah. yep and i'm gonna close the close the stream and we'll see you guys down the road good night everybody Good night, night.